So my Etsy shop is back open. You guys should go check it out. Here's a coupon code. Okay, thanks. Also, I've been super busy with the relaunch of my shop and I did not get around to recording a video again this week, but here is a video that I made like back in December. It's a niacinamide face toner. I just recorded it as a backup video for situations like this. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoy it. Niacinamide is a wonderful ingredient and this is a really basic formula. So even beginners should be able to do it. The hardest part is just balancing the pH. So starting off with phase A, this is the preservative phase. I'm adding in 5% propendiol, which is 10 grams, which is a humectant. It helps hydrate the skin. It's just like glycerin. And then two grams of Uxol PE9010, which is the preservative. And I'm mixing these two together because Uxol PE9010 kind of has issues solubilizing in water. So it helps mixing it with propendiol or glycerin first to get it to suspend evenly in the formula. So that's why we're doing that first. And now we're moving on to phase B, which is essentially just everything else. I'm first adding in 60 grams of witch hazel. And this is different from drugstore witch hazel. It's not drying. This hydrosol is an astringent. It's soothing, helps tighten the skin, and overall is great for all skin types as opposed to traditional drugstore witch hazel. So don't get those two confused. A hydrosol version is totally different. Then I'm adding in 114 grams of distilled water and then mixing everything together. So now I'm gonna take that off my scale and grab what is called a watch glass. I get comments about these all the time. I'll link them in the description box. And I like using these to weigh out powders just to make sure I'm getting the right amount and I don't accidentally add too much into my beaker. And I'm adding in 14 grams of the niacinamide. Niacinamide can visibly improve the appearance of enlarged pores, uneven skin tone, fine lines, dullness, and helps improve the overall appearance of skin. It's commonly used in lightening and brightening products. So it's just great for brightening your skin and just overall, I feel like I'm just going I'm talking in circles. It's great for all skin types and just like can make your skin just appear and look better. Got it. I hope you guys got it, but it dissolves pretty quickly. So just mix it in and you'll know it's dissolved when your solution is clear, which mine definitely isn't clear, but it ends up clearing up. All right, and now it's time to check and adjust the pH and we want a pH level right around six. So I like to use these tiny 25 milliliter beakers to pour a little bit of my product into that way we don't contaminate my actual batch. And you want to make sure you saturate the little circle glass thing on the bottom. That's the pH electrode and you want to make sure you have enough product that that is covered. So anyways, the pH was too low. It was around 4.6. So that means we need to raise the pH. I personally like to raise the pH using a 10% lye solution. I have a video, it's titled Everything to Know About pH. This is a must watch if you want to formulate cosmetics. And in this video, I tell you everything there is to know about pH when it comes to formulating and how to raise and lower the pH levels. So go watch that video to learn how to make the pH adjuster solution and exactly how to raise and adjust the pH. Anyways, I ended up adding in a total of 12 drops of the lye solution and I got the pH to 5.88, which isn't exactly six, but it's still close enough to six, so it is okay. You can have like a few points off above or below six. Normally I wouldn't do anything below 5.5 or anything above 6.5. So just pour it in whatever bottle you prefer. I'm using this four ounce glass bottle with just a standard white cap and added a label. And yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. That's how you make nice cinnamon toner. And I just like to use cotton rounds, saturate them with the product, and then I just pat it into my face. That's how you apply the toner. And you want to make sure you use it after you wash your face, but before you use a serum or moisturizer. And you wanna make sure your skin is dry before adding any product on top. So I hope you guys enjoyed this formula. And yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys next time. Later.
Find someone to listen